with this thing on the sheet plan, on the feet hands. It's on the feet It's on the feet hands. to another episode of Only Fiends with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, our guest today, Maddie fucking Smith. Woohoo! What is good? Yeah. What is happening? What it do? What is good in the hood? <laughs> yes, I love you. You guys know we're from season seven, nine, five, hundred, fifty-five, sixty-nine. Million seasons of Wild and Out. Wild and Out. It's you, insane. How has Nick Cannon not impregnated you? He seems That's to do thing. it to everyone he, else. He won't, he has no interest because I have an IUD. He has no interest even oh, really? connecting. I've been to try. I keep forgetting I have a hole in my head and I shouldn't like suck on things too hard. Oh, I think you're fine. You think? Yeah, as long as it's not solids. That's a gas. Bring it on in, bitch. Are you sure? Yeah, that's I what mean, the dentist said. <laughs> to who? To you know, I think it's just like rules. You're allowed. He, he gave me a sheet of paper, and I even asked him. I was like, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't drink mm-hmm. al- alcohol. Yeah. He's like, that's great. Those are the two main reasons people get dry socket. Really. Yeah. But what about vapes and stuff? I know. Well, it's really the sucking action, right? You're not supposed oh. to suck through straws, too, okay. because you don't want to suck out. Bill Clinton on it. <laughs> I did not inhale. <laughs> they don't want you to suck your blood clot out. Oh, my God. Ooh. Which I actually enjoy a man to do during my monthly. Right. I don't, I don't mind it. Absolutely. Suck it out like suck it's an it. embryo. Suck it out, spit it back on your dick, fuck me with it. We'll kill it twice. Oh, my God. (laughs) Let's talk about the hole in my head. No, I don't want to talk about it. It's so boring. Let's talk about the one in mine. Blah, 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 blah. My wife's a whore, right? Hey, she's using that hole for the wrong thing. (laughs) Put your hijab on. (laughs) Put your hijab on. Yeah, speaking of. This chatty bitch over here. I know. I am obsessed with Iran stuff. Iran is a vibe right now. It's it's such a (laughs) vibe. That was supposed to be funny, but if cancel me, yeah, I need yeah. the press. Oh, please. Um, I'm actually not up to date on the news because I've been out of town for a little bit. I know, bit. you've so been on the road a lot. News, um, do you want to be my weekend update? So they're like, they killed a 22-year-old girl for not wearing her hijab. Right. They like beat her to death or whatever. And so now a lot of the internet has been cut off in Iran. So, you know, women who can are making videos and like, you know... Right. trying to get other people to share them and like, you know, shed some light on the cause. And some of these videos, I mean, they are just straight up barbarians. I don't know what else to it's say. It's insane. And the it's way that the over... men treat the women there, it's right. insane. Um, it's just like, they, they really do treat them like dogs. They like grab them, like, they throw them, they like beat the shit out of them, they throw them in cars, they disappear. And, you know, you hear some of these conversations and they're translated and the men are saying things because the women are filming this stuff on the subway, right? Right. They're like, and it's sometimes it's women versus women because it's um, conservative women. Exactly. Right. And they're like, you got to help us. Like, be on our side. We should be like with us. Right. And then like a guy will come in and be like, there's laws in this country. Mm. And he kind of like mm. that guy to me struck me as a guy that like I could see on the subway platform in New York. Does that make any mm. sense? Like I was like, mm. that guy like is a guy who like I've met. You know what I mean? Right. And in like, terms of what he said? Sort of. Yeah. I don't know. Like. I, I don't know where I've well, met him. Well, that guy is kind of like um, a Maybe passive bystander. Some like particular vocations that I'm thinking of that these certain men, you know, do. It, you know, might be the old deli that I used to go to right. when I lived in Bushwick. But like, yes, I think these men hold these beliefs. Oh, yeah, and they'll like they'll subtly hold them and, and lean against the law. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think is that like bystander? <laughs> yes. Like. The producer's definitely he's hundred percent a bystander. You know what I mean? Yeah, they just feel like the laws should be upheld, and and they're it's just the opposite of what you would hope a man would feel mm. when he hears that women are being beaten to death because mm-hmm. their hair's out. Like to us, it sounds bananas. Burn absolutely bananas, right? Yeah, Hannah Burner banana. <laughs> shout out, shout, bananas. Shout out That's Hannah Burner. That's what our fan base should be called. Bananas. Be- are they not? The, no, I don't think so. Oh, what are they called? I don't know. Burn the burners, maybe. The bananas would be fire. We, tagger, cut this, send cut it. Cut this, and then we get ten percent of the merch. You're welcome, Hannah Banana. <laughs> Love the Giggly Squad. Hard okay. R. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anywho, um, um, oh, that shit's fucked up. But also, like. That country, they were just raised to think like that. I know that's so. That's why we can't even. Uh, that's how I. That's like the, the worst other part of me is like, do is like ghost us, and some some of them kill us. Some of them kill us. Some of them kill some us, kill but like that's because they love us so hard. No, it's like you can't handle <laughs> the passion. Oh my god! Like man, Wait, I had a guy. I had a guy like like. Uh, 
Re- slowly try to kill your career? Was it Andrew Chavon? <laughs> oh, bing bong. <laughs> Not at all. That guy's too nice. Oh, he's such a he's sweetheart. So I'm nice. sorry. I'm he's joking. so nice. What a good kid. But I had a guy yell at me, and, and then he was like, it's just, I never felt this way about someone before. And I'm really, really? easy to manipulate. So yeah. I was like, oh my the God. The intensity of it. So, like, oh my God, I'm honored. This pussy's so good. <laughs> but like, I would. Like, I wouldn't right. be afraid. I right. would be like, yeah, this guy loves me. That's how I felt. But now reflecting, looking back, do you think I'm like, who were you controlled? Yeah, I was certainly manipulated. Yeah, Lewis manipulated the shit out of me. He was really good at it. When we like some instances, certainly with like business, because I knew nothing really about comedy Mm -hmm. and I didn't deserve to be like working like anywhere, like any like clubs or anything. Like wasn't good enough yet to be headlining at all. Right. But like this, this guy in Miami who ran shows like liked me. He's like, I'll fly you out. I'll pay you this, that, this, that. I was like, this is awesome. I'm a fucking comic. And I told Lewis about this guy. Next thing you know, I have no deal. And like the skanks are going out there what? <laughs> to like work a weekend. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if Pat knew that. But it was um, so Louis looking, J. Looking back, I mean, he's just a hustler. He's like was so right, though. He's like, Karen can't yeah, sell he tickets. Hustled you. Yeah. He gave me a guest spot. <laughs> Ooh, we love a guestie, though. Hang out with the crew, do eight minutes, eat some nachos, go home, post about it. That's Ooh, all it is. I love a guestie. Who loves, I love a guestie. Dress for a guestie. You yeah. know you're getting a clip. You're just doing your A shit, baby. That's <laughs> fucking rock. What's up? I'm on every dating app, Tinder, Bumble, Grubhub. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh, my God. Uber? All the easies, all the easies. People are still doing Uber as a dating app jokes. Oh, yeah. People are doing everything. I've been talking lately. Do you like talking shit? I've been talking a lot of shit lately. Okay. And I just feel like there's like some, and of course we're not going to name names. Of course I like talking shit. But they're just, (laughs) you know how there's some comedians that are just like, you're a fucking comic. Like your feelings don't really get hurt. Right. You can like dish it. You can take it. You walk into the room, you contribute something. Right. Typically funny. Typically, and if then, not a smile, whatever, hey, how are you? you know, yeah. if you're in a bad mood, look and say yeah. that you'll probably still be funny. Yeah, Joe DeRosa, totally. maybe we will say names. Right. No, I, <laughs> we said you're funny. <laughs> like, but then there, there's just a certain element of people I feel like that have been infiltrated and they're not really one of us. <laughs> I have felt like the, um, level of offstage sort of funniness has gone down same is that rude of me to say no it's sort of like not to hit say or miss. that i walk into a room bing bang boom bang, i know ba, ba, ba. like but um i feel like people are a little more solemn off stage these days yeah a little more hustle and flow or like i understand <laughs> talk about the Wait, business. hustle no flow <laughs> hustle and no flow there you go yeah i'm so high <laughs> but um i agree Sometimes it's too much business talk, too. But the business talk, too. The it, reels, uh, the algorithm. Don't say algorithm. The, I apologize. The, uh, the, the, um. <laughs> Everything is which club you do and how and many you don't, you and what it means and how many views and, and what time to post. And who's your manager like, and JFL and my suck dick. on my dick. Showcase this. Showcase this. Showcase this. Showcase, Showcase this. that. At Netflix, Hulu. Or, or <laughs> <laughs> that's, when that's when they're reaching. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. I might have a meeting with Hulu yeah, next week. Yeah, you're like, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, is they're it right after make- the True TV one right. where they tell you to reinvent the Jokers? <laughs> just, like, I'm just saying. They're like, just making anyone, up. Right. Does anyone want to sit with a cup of coffee and just talk but, about the world? I no. know. Ew, I literally sound like a fucking. Well, so I'm wait. just saying there has been a lot of business talk lately. I just feel like there can be an element of it of course we're all do what do you think we're doing like kind of all day sort of you know we're all kind of dealing with this stuff all day we're at the club like we're supposed to just be having fun fun that's the (sighs) the i think people might don't you wish this fit me so sad i think it still looks good though i don't know man i think i look poor you could like it um i look poor no you don't look poor i feel poor no my spirit feels poor you're wearing matching socks you have like highlighter on all right all right right, right. thanks i think of you as upper middle i remember you had that chanel t-shirt i don't know if you wore it that's so weird because i was looking everywhere today i'm a witch i'm a witch i'm a witch and i was like it's here somewhere that's so hilarious if you stole it that's awesome but that's crazy i was like i was gonna wear that shit that's insane style damn i love that t-shirt where do you think it is Stop the recording. Did someone Where grab is it, it for me? It's, it might be in my laundry because I yeah. just dropped big load off. Uh, and I also did my laundry. Hey. But uh, it might be in my laundry. I do, do you send I yours out? So. Yes. Do you send it? Yeah, I do drop off. The way you just <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I do my own. And, mm, 
Where? The laundromat? No, two floors below me. Oh. It's so hard. <laughs> I call that a deadlift. Honestly? I count that as exercise. Oh, absolutely. You're lifting with the hams? Yeah. Yeah. And you sometimes you do a tricep like, oh. I haven't been able to work out because of my oral <sighs> surgery. Oh, my God. Yeah. Pat, that say sucks. the stupid thing you said when I texted you about my oral surgery. Listen to this idiot. Okay. Pat. Hold on. I forgot I have to pull it dumb, up. You're You dude. don't remember what you said. How do I remember? Pat, you're I got fucking it. dumb. It's right here. Wait. I'm calling you Joe. My hearing is having a baby. I know. It's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Mike Harrington. And Karen. Congratulations. Mike Harrington is having, having a baby. baby. It's wild. Damn, dude. Pat. The baby's going to be That's awesome. wild. He forgets everything everywhere he goes. No, I know. He, like, forgot which comedy club he was booking, so one of them fired him. <laughs> He's like, I can't just, I can't just do this. <laughs> no, but shout, to, shout out to Mike. Um, let us know if you need help, I guess. I told him right away, you need money. I didn't, I didn't say if you need money. I said, you need money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Hit me we'll, up. We'll set up a GoFundMe. Totally. Mike's having a baby. Go oh my gosh. Me. Alex looks so cute. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen her. She looks so pretty. She's glowing. No joke. She looks adorable. Wow. I Should told I, her I would go to like prenatal classes with her because I really? love making fun of fat people. It's like me. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. It's my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so fat. <laughs> no, What's wrong with that? Like, why are you guys you, all fat in the same you area? area? For two? <laughs> <laughs> Your fupa is insane, dude. Ew. 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 <laughs> Ew. Fat cow. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why so can't you hold text, a plank? Um, Karen, yeah. Karen said, I just had oral surgery. I said, whoa, how are you going to work? And I don't mean comedy. So that's what I'm dealing with, you guys, on a day to day. Holy shit, you're that's so funny. Oh my god, Pat, that's so funny, dude. Thank you. Did you did you send that and you were like you were smirking to oh, yourself? You yeah, it. I, and bet. I put parentheses yeah. and I don't mean comedy. Oh, oh he I'll punctuated, punk, yeah. punk, did, there was punched, punched it up. Put into Sorry, it. I'm high too. It's like an S A T S A. I shine in the text threads. That's where I. Absolutely, it's sad about the women in Iran, but. <laughs> Do you know that here in America, a woman in Spokane, Washington, was just sentenced to 23 years in jail because she sold her six-year-old daughter to a man over the internet for some cash and sneakers. That man raped her. Sneakers? Not sneakers. The man raped the little girl, filmed Stop. it. Stop. So like, Stop. so like Iran, yeah, you're Stop. fucked that up. That story got worse and worse Dude, as you went it's on. It's the most horrific thing I and read. And it started with Spokane, so that's I really know. bad. I know. To me, it's like, what is it? It's just so desolate and boring there. The drug addiction is probably like ridic. Totally. Maybe, ridic. Yeah. I would think that there would be drugs involved with that. But the more, I the older hope, I get, the more. I would hope there would be drugs involved. Sometimes in that. people are just evil, though. You know what I mean? Yes. Doesn't that freak you out? Listen, you're on Wild and Out. People are looking to you for leadership. Oh, so what am I supposed to say? I, obviously, I am against this. Is that what you're asking me to say? I didn't know that there was a that this was like a debate that I needed to take a stance. I thought it was pretty clear that uh, I'm on the mom side. No, I'm kidding. No, hey. <laughs> no I'm just are looking. What do they want me to say? No, I'm joking. Keep your kids. The sneakers aren't worth it. The sneakers aren't worth it. I mean, I also watched a lot of intervention yesterday because the dentist said I couldn't exercise, so I was okay. resting. So what were you watching? Oh, I watched this mother lost three boys the cutest kids ever because she was on heroin it, it's just drug addiction is very it's really bad fucking bad dude um, anyway so and I mean like I, we sound like such white girls it's really bad though. but her I know but her <laughs> hair looked like shit like she probably could have used a hijab like she dyed it purple she was like hooking right. that was the look I guess hooking yeah the what mother was like prostituting oh, herself hooking is for, the verb for selling yourself yeah. I never heard that before. Hooking? Yeah. Am I wrong? Look it up. Well, she was trying to sell her daughter and also get some shoes. She was trying to get some Nikes. Right, She right. did sell her, though, Pat. For shoes. Mm-hmm. Like, what would you sell your kids for? Anything, guys? Or no? No? I was thinking, like, a house in, like, well, I mean, on this the is... Mediterranean would be cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, listen, there's a price for everything. No, I just... Isn't it wild that, like, people think that all women should have kids, though? You think that oh. once you're pregnant, you should definitely carry that baby to term? No, it's insane. I don't think so. No, and I think it should be case by case. If you want to get rid of your baby, that's inherently someone who should not have a baby. Uh-huh. At the end of the day, when someone forces you to do something, because you do she, it badly. She didn't murder this little girl, but like this little girl is fucked. I'm like, 
she probably oh, will kill herself. Like, it's over. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. I've had minimal trauma and I'm here. Right. Imagine that at six years old. It's over. <sighs> that or she becomes like an like obliviously an happy because she's on so many. I was going to say social. starts an OnlyFans. Like, oh, is shit. Yeah, that too. A huge success. <laughs> that too. Gets her own sneaker line. Or she goes hard Christian. Tr- she's like, can't keep me down. Yeah. Yeah, right. She goes full girl boss. <laughs> She's like, just do it. Try right. to rape me again. Oh Not with God. these kicks. should be the face of Nike. <laughs> You're fucked up. I'm hi- am I ruining the podcast? No. I- is it okay? Is, it the- is the podcast going I'm okay? High. I feel like... I'm I feel high. like I'm going to leave and you guys are going to be like, we're not putting that out there. But I feel like we're having fun, right? No, this is what they come for. Yeah, and they also, they watch it. <laughs> and this is coming out on Friday. So if you want to tell people where you'll be after that, uh, okay. you can let them know where you are. Wait, are we wrapping up now? No, oh. this, is just, oh, shit. this is just a mid-roll plug. Okay, what up? Yo. Mid-roll plug. I hate Dude, it when you talk so business. so weird. If you say algorithm mid-roll or mid-roll plug, plug again, I swear to also, God. Also, stop. We all need to stop saying the word plugs. plugs. It's horrifying. It's disgusting. Stop. Shout out Lena the plug, though, because I'm a little obsessed with her. In a healthy way, I think. Who is it? She's Adam... The jump, Adam Jumper. Wait, what's his name? Adam 22 from No Jumper. Adam 22 from No Jumper. What is that? Well, first of all, No Jumper is literally where I get all of my news. It's where I first read Lena about the da, Spokane. Da, da Plug? Da Plug. She's also, Lena Dunham? <laughs> she's also like Lena the Mom. I That's probably talk I about her too much, Pat. Now that I'm oh, thinking Lena da Plug. It's been... Uh, okay, so she does the news or it's something? It's been too many episodes since we haven't spoken about her. Okay, so thanks, Pat. We can bring her back. Um, but yeah, so you said Plug, and they have a show called Plug Talk that I love. And what do they talk about? Well, they interview another porn star, and then oh. they have a threesome on their OnlyFans. It's a genius what? business model. Coming and stuff? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What, what, what type of softcore Disney shit do you like, Maddie? Oh, like, dude, I Not never to completion, know. right? Can I be honest? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, for contraception only, or for, for conception yeah. only. That's what it's called, right? Holy shit, I'm losing my mind. We're only 17 minutes in, Karen. Contraception. Okay. Take the um, counter down. It gives us anxiety. I kind of like it. I'm like, okay, okay. I'm, still like I'm still cooking. Okay. I'm still cooking. I'm simmering. Like a check-in is fine once in a while, but we don't need to feel like we're no, yeah. run against running against the clock. Totally. You're being really weird. As women in this industry. Yeah. Like, time's running out. Sorry. No, and seriously. It, and I, just, I lost three eggs just looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what were well, you my saying? grandma had 12 kids, so I'm going to be fine. What were we talking about? You had something, something really good because you touched me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> she starts acting a little gay. Was Something's porn. coming. It was about porn. Oh, porn. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what goes on in OnlyFans. I don't know what goes on yeah. in there. I don't I know don't, what goes on in there. because I, have, I don't know anything besides what I do. And I was talking to my friend who does OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. With her husband, Ooh, and hot. I was like, "What kind of stuff?" That's like, so hot. He fucks you on camera. And she said, "No, all I do is twerk." Probably, but so that's why I'm like, that's why the threesome surprised me so much because that's like the oh, only, yeah. only I mean, fans I've heard but, of is just like images. But and, those three people are probably making like millions. Yeah, of that. like they're probably in like the top zero point point three percent of only right. fans. But with a business model like that, mm-hmm. they all have huge followings. And it's like subscription based mm-hmm. and they do these one off things that are basically like these little short films that they're right. selling. It's so smart. And then they've the, got to be so rich. Do the films expire after a That's while? That's a great question. Thanks. I don't know. And can you record it? Here's the thing. What they're has... all OnlyFans stuff is copyrighted. So like in right. a court of law, if someone steals it, like you'll win. But it's like, do you want to pay the lawyer? This is how I feel yeah, about right. it. Do I want to pay yeah. the lawyer for whatever? I'm just like, it's essentially like free advertising yeah, for, yeah, you know, yeah. the bottom of the bottom. Right. Um, but for them, you know, yeah, it's, 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 it's all copyrighted probably. Mm-hmm. And like only certain people who bought it should be in possession of it. But with that being said, it's probably very easy to duplicate. Right. You can re- screen record but with your phone from your you laptop. But you won't do that because that would be like telling someone what kind of porn you like. Are you ever watching porn and you see some, they look like someone you know? And yeah. you're like, I should tell them. And then you're like, no, I can't do that. I know. I'd I like tell people. I swear to God, I see Tom Takara like all the time. Just That's kidding. So He's, I'm just kidding. He's in a new like Netflix thing, him and his wife. It's really cute. I see Usama everywhere too. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you search Usama. <laughs> and shit pops up. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes I watch here's my porn um, confession good, good. sometimes I watch porn and the, where the girls look like me of course oh, so you, you, you did that before okay cool oh what we're not and narcissists if, like, right, okay cool yeah. I only started doing that recently I was like oh, this is sure. hot oh I don't like big tits on, right. in porn I can only if I'm like I don't know stumble upon it right it's never what I'm looking right. for 
No, I never do big tits. No. And my bitches have to be like pale. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that has to look like a oh, milk I have some maid. Videos. I have some great videos I could send you. You've probably seen them already if they're in your yeah, search. But yeah, maybe. I like that, I like that the, type too. And there's a few girls who are just like putting a lot of shit out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, only fee hands. Where are we at? This is a good podcast. Yeah, yeah I like watching girls who look like me. I like typically watching young girls who look like they're not really enjoying it and they've been <laughs> manipulated to be there. Oh, I like that too. Which is yeah, like yeah, yeah. sort of a borderline abusive fetish. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, like and it's unfortunate a- that mine has been unlocked lately. <laughs> yeah, like, right, but I mean the psychology of it, right? Like, I don't think you should feel guilty about having fantasies like right. that because especially if that's what can get you to climax. Right. And only that. Right. But... <laughs> but... Um, I do wonder about, yeah, that content when it was made because, yeah, the, no, more, me too. the more genuinely uncomfortable the girl looks, the more I love it. Oh, me too. I'm, yeah. If it looks too fake or acted out for me or oh, scripted, yeah. I'm like, If the girl's shut loving up. it, I'm like, beat shut it. Shut up. You guys are really nice to each other when you're not fucking. Yeah. I want to know that he fucking resents your ass. I know. I want to know you're doing this for the paycheck. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> And she thinks she's in love with him, but she's not. She'll get out someday and wonder what happened. And yeah, he's the first guy she's going to try anal with. Why not him? Why right. not film it? Right. And he'll say, if you loved me, you would. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but but yeah, that's the kind of stuff I like too. Fucking. That's cool that your friend does it with her husband. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I want a boyfriend. I kind of. And I want him to fuck me on OnlyFans, I guess, maybe. I guess. I don't know. I've never done that. I've never done that either. But I mean, I made little movies, but that was usually hidden camera pranks. <laughs> <laughs> like I never knew. <laughs> right, right. I would just send them to his mom after we broke up. No, I'm yeah, kidding. For sure. I'm kidding. Or am I? <laughs> I just send it to his next girlfriend. I say, hey, can you do this? <laughs> you know, guys always seem to date the most unremarkable women after they date me. Do you find that? Oh. Uh, I'm actually in the opposite. Guys don't date anyone <laughs> after me. They're like, I'm done with bitches after this hoe. You break they go hearts. Full, no one. You broke. Yeah, you break hearts. Um. Yeah. Or I just like destroy people's lives. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean. I do be breaking hearts sometimes. I guess it depends, and they're not always unremarkable, but they're always like more into him than I was. Hmm. I That's feel like interesting. on a level, like certainly more willing to be like more cheerleadery. Right. That's interesting. Like if he had activities, woo woo. I would, go. yeah, I, I just like couldn't get it up for like certain activities. Right. Which is how like relationships would be. You should be able to like pop in and out of their shit. I'm still so in love with my ex though because he's so fucking hot. Yeah. That was the one who had like, he had like a butt kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I remember him. He was hot. Does he live in Queens? He lives in Brooklyn. Oh, okay. I think I saw. Do you want to go I there? I saw, yeah, totally. I'm trying to date a Buffalo Bills player. Oh my God, let's yeah. go. Yeah, I think that'd be great for both of us. I thought you yeah. had a boyfriend for some reason and you were being a little coy about it. Oh, I did. I was dating. I dated a couple people this year, yeah, yeah, but yeah, now yeah. I'm single as fuck. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm Buffalo tr- Bill. I'm trying because I'm from you? Buffalo. This is a cool. very easy play for you. You're I know. a celebrity. I'm from Buffalo. I think it'd be great for both of us. I just have to pick. I was going to say, like, I bet your DMs are, like... Lately, I've been getting a lot of blue checkmark athletes That's in my DMs. Same. I always go it's to so see fun. who is it, and it's like, hey, hey, guess what? Do what? you guys also know? What? Athletes can be ugly. <laughs> They sure can. What a letdown. <laughs> you go to their bio, you're like, yo, shit. You click on it, where you're like, what the fuck? I know. NBA didn't tell me about this. I know. They're like huge, but like their proportions are bizarre. Yeah, like their legs are shorter, wrong. but like their torso's huge. Yeah. And they have a little head. <laughs> yeah, the little head on the, the tallest body. Are you pulling up the bill? Do you like Josh Allen? So Josh Allen? Allen is the main, but he's been wifed up for a okay. while. Pat, so. you home fuck. And if I was a girl to go with him, I would get destroyed. It would be On like, the internet? Absolutely. It's Their not worth it, Maddie. Their relationship is so wholesome. Yeah, it's not worth it, Maddie. You're the redheaded victim. Vixen, Mm-mm. they would be, it would be Jolene oh. all day. All day. All day. How I'm about not Jordan Poyer? He's a safety. He looks He's cute. cute. Safety. He's cute, Pat. What's his name? Jordan. You know what I forget, though, is all these guys are probably way younger than me. Why? Who cares? No, I know. You're he's right. 31. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's do yeah. that. Cool. Yeah. Any, That's fine. Maybe a message to Jordan if he's watching. Or not. Yeah. What's his name? Jordan. Jordan Poirier. Okay, so he has two kids with his wife. <laughs> Pat. Pat. 
Let's start vetting a little better. Yeah, can no, you like let's okay. get some can rookies? Like, I'm, let's now get I'm in love rookies. with Jordan and I have to fucking ruin his family for I this. Mean, so You know, there's like a certain so CBS fun. anchor that's been in my DMs who's married with three kids. Really? Matt Lauer? <laughs> I wish. I'd throw it all away. You know, I'll let you push that log button on me, baby. <laughs> I'll risk it all for Lauer. I don't care. Stefan Diggs seem to be, seems to be sim- single. Okay, Stefan Diggs is cute. He's very cute. He's he 28. That's wonderful. All right. Okay, so I date him, and then I can get him on Wild and Out. Oh, my God. That you would be I mean? huge. And then Nick Hannon would be like, yo, Maddie's had this fucking all along. Babies. Right. <laughs> Babies. Babies. I could also like start having a shit ton of babies like Nick and like, like flip and the script a little bit. Yeah, you'd be like Hilaria Baldwin on Wild and Out, and you bring right. all your babies on. <gasps> okay, this is huge for me. Man, do you think Chrissy Teigen's gonna keep the baby she's got cooking? I hope so. Okay, is she them. pregnant right now? Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, she had a um, big miscarriage and told everybody. I remember. That guy's kind of cute. I like it when they look like barbarian. Vikings. He's cute. Yeah, I like Dawson that too. Knox. He's hot. He's Single. big. I like He's a big him. Big boy. He's big. Look at their like tight shirts. Like, what are they? Like, why do they need to wear tight? I like. I know. It, I but... like it, but I like when they're like big because you know, like to me, they'll be like she eats nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. I could like stay this exact size Absolutely. and he'll think I'm tiny. You are right. The P six. I, I don't really like skinny guys. It's hard. You feel like you're fucking like Ichabod Crane a little. It's yeah. like, um, I always use that example, but he's like, if a guy's hips are like poking into mine. Yeah, it's not happening. I don't like it. And so for me, it's either like insane muscular like that or yeah. it's he, he's a little fat. All right, you get a bill. Do you know who follows me? And like, he's, he hasn't commented yet, but he likes a lot of posts. Schoolboy Q. He probably oh. follows you too. Oh, does that's interesting. Not, I don't think he does. You're but probably in his when like, he zeitgeist does. though, because you're like really urban. I'll follow him. <laughs> I'll follow him and see if he follows back. Okay, okay, okay. I need a blue check mark. That's what's going on. Oh, why don't you have one? But I don't know. I get no respect. Schoolboy Q is Tell cute. MTV or whatever. He's really cute. He's cute, right? Yeah. And he's very talented. I like his music. He came on Wild and Out once. He did? Yeah, my first season. That was oh years ago. Oh, my gosh. He's cool. Did you talk to him? Yeah, he, oh, right. he was like on my squad. Okay, okay. So That's nice. Yeah, it was cute. Oh, anyway. yeah, look at that. Look it. There's me. <laughs> There's me in the back. That's, There's me what in the back. What season was this? Oh, my God, Maddie. That was you my really, first season. You should season do 14. like a, like a then outfit. to now. Somebody probably has done like there a is compilation. A, there's a little compilation. Yeah. Wild and Out made it on YouTube. But you should make a short one, like just like of like your outfits. Like Absolutely. You're probably on TikTok. I feel like with. Pat wh- does my TikTok. I don't like it. It's too much for me. No. Oh, dude. I can't keep up with the apps. I'm like getting overwhelmed at this point. I don't do My TikTok. entire day is. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I can't. Blah, blah, blah. Instagram is enough for I me. I can't do it anymore. Pat does but my TikTok, but I think he quit it. I think well, he stopped TikTok doing Well, TikTok doesn't like us now. TikTok doesn't like yeah, us? Yeah, a lot of community what? guidelines. Oh, yeah, uh, they have crazy broken. guidelines. What did we break? Oh, uh, like... You say, you say, like, a lot of, like, pussy... Pussy, and, like, cock, fuck. Cunt and, like... Like abortion sometimes. So TikTok is but like you can bleep it out. Yeah, I do it sometimes. I, do, I so censor like, my TikTok. They yeah. just don't care. So like TikTok is it's fascism. Hard. It's like there's it's a dictatorship over it's, there. Let's just say it's, it's a great conservative for clean comedians. Yeah, but it's basically a if, conservative. I'm, if someone tells me they have a huge TikTok, I'm like, oh, oh do you have a huge okay cruise ship? Are you also corny? <laughs> Weekends coming up. Are too? you corny? Where's your next <laughs> fucking? You, know, I'm a hater. Sorry, Ugh. I don't mean to be a hater. That was no, rude. You're right. I'm just jealous because I'm dirty. I'm a filthy I'm dirty. Whore. I'm never going to be on any show other than I'm Wild and Out because I'm a dirty, filthy, fucking <laughs> cock-sucking whore. And we're only 30 minutes in. I feel like I've spilled my guts to you guys so much. Really? Yeah. Should I say more? That's good. Do you think Do your you listeners ta- are going to think I'm crazy? I feel like Tom Cruise on the couch with oh. Oprah. Remember when... He jumped up. He couch. jumped up about Katie Holmes. Yeah. He's like, I love her. I feel like that's what I'm acting like right now. I want to be in love like that again. But I, I think- know, but I can't I can't do it ever again. It's like too bad like like it seems so awesome, but it's just so bad for you. I think it is like another job. And it's yeah. like and I'll have to choose if I want to be yeah. in love again or be rich. Every time. Every time, and I spend months being like, oh no, oh no, I like being in love. Fuck the career, and then I get out of the thing, and I have to go back to the career and be married to that. What are we gonna do? And then, like the only, I way- think we just, yeah, I think we do need famous athlete boyfriends. Yeah, who get I'm us? I'm thinking that. 
They get our ambition. They they do weekends too. They do do weekends. They do tour bus. Nights and weekends. I just need like a few times a month for a guy to walk my dog with me and hold my hand. A few times a month. That's it. That's it. And like. I usually like prefer to do it alone, but there's like once in a while I have like this little tinge in my stomach that would be like, it would be nice to holding a hand right now. It would be nice to like point at that and be like, yo, check this out. Yeah. It would be nice to be searching this art with someone. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. You know what I mean. You just said it. Three times a month. That's all I need. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like getting your nails done. Oh my God. I don't need constant contact. Mm-mm-mm. I'm really like. No way. Very satisfied being alone. I was mm-hmm. watching a clip. Guys just have a really hard time being alone. Pat mm-hmm. just went through a breakup. Let's exploit that. Yeah. I totally forgot. Wait, I think guys. I guarantee once... you he starts dating some fucking goofball like right. in like a week or two. Yeah. Because you turn around people and... just, oh, he decided to let Mabel out to fucking. Uh oh. You fucking. Doggy time. I know exactly Who let what the you're dogs doing. out? Who? Who, 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 who? Shut up, dude. Get out of my face, bitch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you are so soft. You good? are so soft and excited. Hello, I'm Maddie. Nice to meet you. Do you love Maddie? Yeah, you love me. Do you love Maddie? Big doggy love Maddie. Pat went through a breakup. <laughs> okay, so you don't like to be alone? He doesn't want to talk about it. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I, I used to like to be alone. Yeah. But then I found someone who I like to spend time with. For four yeah. years. Guys like to go hard when they get into a relationship. There's like me, let's hang out all the time. Don't get me wrong, I do that too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm the type of girlfriend I'm that like on a Sunday morning, if you're my boyfriend, like I will live in your chest on a couch, right. like eating, fucking, smoking weed, right. watching TV, like on a Sunday morning. Right. Like, but that's about it. Like right. A lot of nights, I need to be lying in my bed. A lot of nights, I have a like with a, my retinol. It's the skincare routine that you do in that I don't want to do in front of you. No, I want to. I'll shit in front of you on the first date though. Pussy I don't care. And then slide into some. What'd you say? I'll shit on the first date though. Don't bite Maddie. Yeah, whatever. I'm a really quick shitter, so that's <laughs> never been an issue for me. Me too. Hey. I'm very regular. Me too. She really likes you. I never have issues. Does she look skinny? Do you guys think she's yeah. a parasite? Oh no, I thought. I thought it was like. I mean, no, skinny. we hate fat people. I was like, yeah, yeah. she looks yes. fucking sleek. <laughs> fucking sleek. New York Fashion Week, all yeah, black. Skinny. No, I, stop, stop, biting me, stop biting Maddie. It's okay. Stop biting. It's okay. I like it. <laughs> it's like a love bite. It like feels kind of good. Yeah. We wrestle all the. Oh, and then kisses, and then a love bite, and then e. more kisses. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. She right. wanted to go back in the room, Pat. She's so intense right now. <laughs> oh, you heard that? All right. Uh-oh. Relax. Okay. Enough licking. Just chill. We're doing a podcast. Mabel. Chill? Um, oh my God, Mabel. <laughs> Mabel, get down. Whoa. Sorry for yelling into the mic. <laughs> okay, you go over there. Stay up there. <laughs> there you, keep her, you keep her busy, Pat. Look how fucking cute she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Yo, that dog is crazy, man. I need a big boyfriend that likes dogs. Like, I'm finding... I think that shouldn't be hard to find. I mean... It is, though. It has been. You know what? I think my... These guys hitting on me, they just kind of like their openers kind of stink. And I have a hard time getting past getting hooked from the beginning. Agreed. It's hard to get hooked. Um, the openers stink. They always look great. And then I they bet, talk. I bet your DMs are really funny. I have really funny DMs. I bet they try to like, do they do try you to, to roast po- you? Do you want me to read some? Yeah. Okay, let me see. I bet they try to like, because um, Maddie's like. I mean, Maddie's just constantly putting up clips where she's just, like, dunking on grown men and women. You know what I mean? Like, just... Right. Let me see what so my what, DMs are like. What, are, what? How would you come at her? Um, I'm wondering. I get that a lot cool. of, like, marry me's. You're so beautiful. Yeah. Um, Do you ever click on them, though? Do you ever give them a chance? Never. Never, never, give never, never, never. Never. You know why I don't? Because my workplace is is a place where people also go. And that's horrifying to me. Everyone knows where I am at all times. I know, I know, I know. That really know. scares me about <sighs> doing this. Every, I, I, people show up. I know, I know, I hear and you. And you want them to show up, but you... But you need like, a big black boyfriend. I'm sorry. A, a, B, a BBB? Yeah. Okay. She really does. Okay. Yeah, because I just... then I just think you'll feel safe and, you know, whether you're with him or alone, like, they'll just be that looming presence. Like, sure, you could fuck with Maddie, but right. this guy's going to break your neck. Break your neck. I also need a secure man. I need someone who wants to see me rock and roll. Let's go. Uh- <laughs> I need someone 
who yeah. um, has all normal, meaningful relationships in his life and sure. doesn't bounce around from friend group to friend group looking for the grass is greener. Yeah, lame. I need someone who's like chill, fully formed and stable. Is How that could too you much to ask? No. How could you not keep her and attention for more job. than five minutes, Pat? Like, yeah, what is your? I get dude, why your girlfriend left. I you. think he's protesting because we brought up the girlfriend. I know he's being a douche. You're being a douche. Look at Mabel, so horny for Maddie. She knows the celeb is here. She's like, this is the one I give all my attention to. Wildin, wildin, wildin. When Aaron Berg was here, she fucking peed and went in the room. Really? She hates Canadians. I'm JK. Oh, there you go. Mabel, you're so fucking cute. So do you get a lot of DMs too? Yeah, and I, here's the thing. My last relationship, the guy that I'm still in love with, like slid into my DMs. Really? He happened to be like so hot. You guys unfollowed him? Oh, before, before, before. Before, the before. Times. And you responded. I did. Occasionally, so, you know what I fucking hate? You know what I fucking hate? Tell me. When a guy slides in yep. and his fucking profile's on private. I know, me too. Bruh. Me too. You're like, from what this little picture, you me? think I'm going to respond. Come on, it's you unfair. Take, that's a, less, like, if you guys are watching this and you want to slide in and you think you're normal. Make yourself on private fit. for the 24 hours that you've slid. Yeah. Go back to private after if that's your life. If you're a kindergarten teacher. If you're a kindergarten teacher, we probably aren't going to be a good. It's probably not a thing anyway. If you are someone who needs to privatize your profile for work reasons, we're, we're not going to work anyway. Right. So other guys, though, open that shit up because I'm not following you back. No. I'm I'd, requesting to follow someone and who's I probably like, going to be ugly. And I don't care if you don't have a glamorous job. Like, I'm Bye. very turned on if, like, you fucking go and clean oil Let's out of, go. like, pipes all day. Like, yeah. if and you're good at you it. you can come home and you lay my pipe. You know what I'm saying? This has been, like, a volleyball, like, setup. Done, like Boom. the whole time my entire if i could just like live my entire career doing tagging up other people i would be <laughs> I <know>. it's <laughs> like, fucking I, great i have the hard time getting started mabel's, <laughs> mabel's like you're doing it Thank look you. at how sensual you're she's being great, sweetie i think she has to poop maybe not though maybe she just really loves you <laughs> mabel do you have to do a bm no you're chill you're chill you whine oh my god you know what i ordered her have you seen, I'm watching this Netflix thing, and Tom Takar was on it, but it's like the future of pets. Oh. Supposedly within our lifetime, big te- tech is going to come up with ways where we can understand our pets, what? which led me to order a $94 item uh, called Pet Translate or Fluent Pet, Fluent Pet, and there are little buttons and your dog Dude, I've seen that shit on TikTok. I know. That's really creepy to me. That's going to be awesome. I don't like that sentient shit. (laughs) Yeah, I know. She's going to be like, play, play, now, now. Food, food, food. Eat my box. Eat me out. Eat me out. Yeah. Eat me out. I want to come. (laughs) I want to come. I know. It's going to get so existential. I am a prisoner. This is not what I chose. Slavery. (laughs) Trapped in a cage. (laughs) It's not legal. Please set me free. I want to eat these squirrels. (laughs) I want to be one with the earth. I am a dog. Oh, you're such a... Oh. I get like that... Um, It's that phenomenon where you want to like bite babies. Mm. I like grip my teeth. My jaw gets really locked up because I fucking love her so much. Right. She's such like a wolf puma to me. Right. And she'll fucking kill for me. You'll fucking kill for you, Oh my you? God, this fucking... I mean, he wasn't threatening. He was just homeless, but Mabel didn't know that. She was about to fuck him up. Really? Yeah. That's good. Good girl. Good, girl. Good job. Take Push down the threatening Push man. Who's my wolf? You're my fucking wolf. Take down the threatening You're man. You're a fucking badass bitch. Here's your chewy. Here's your chewy. Here it is. Is Mabel doing Halloween this year? Yeah, Mabel's going to dress up as um, uh, either a ninja or. <gasps> a ninja? Anything black. <laughs> um, yeah, or LeBron James. Whoa. Um, <laughs> or. Or the Black Swan, yeah. or she could be Black Sabbath. The Black, <laughs> <laughs> Black um, um, yeah, she could just be the occult. Black Panther. Yeah. Uh, what, bitch? I'll fuck you up. I could. What could I do, Pat? Do Happy get, Halloween. I think it. I think uh, we could get really abstract with it. Think of all the things she could be. You could. Um, There's so many options. Like what? You haven't said one. Yeah, I did. I said Black Sabbath. <laughs> Black I literally Sabbath. said Black Sabbath, and I also said Black Panther. You literally said Not Black getting Black defensive about a dog's <laughs> Halloween costume. Oh, Black fine. Sabbath. I'll dress her up as a Black, Black snake. Black velvet. Black velvet. Sorry. I riled up the dog. Black, uh... 
Black Lives Matter. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. It's been a couple years, too. Yeah, bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Um, Little Kim. Okay, fun. Um, <laughs> I have to stop naming black people. It's fun. Mayball, what do you want to be for Halloween, you fucking idiot? An exclamation point? That's fun. What about the Titanic? The Titanic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a ship sinking. She's the black ocean? Yeah. Okay. Or she's a ship. Oh, she's a ship. Isn't it black? Uh, the actual ship. Yeah. Halloween. Oh, man. We are crying. Motherfucker pulled up a deck. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's the hocus. Those are the hocus pocus witches. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. It does look like Sarah Jessica Parker. I thought that was just her for a Tag her. Clip it. <laughs> Start. Clip. Clip. Uh, beef. <laughs> Start a Why war. Why the long face? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, that's fun. Look at that. A black lion. You could be a lion. Like, like Scar. Yeah, you could be Scar. You could be Scar. Scar is kind of a zaddy. You could be Scar. Or you could be, um, what else, Pat? Why what are, are you, you laughing? What are you guys going to be for Halloween? That's a good question. What are you going to be? I don't know. I think I might do, um. Every year I say I'm going to be a peacock and I never pull it together. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm always like day of. Like, if there's anything together. Same. I always try to find something day of and I'm like. It's sad that I would wear this as a costume, kind of. These yeah. are my real clothes. Halloween is kind of embarrassing. I if hate I'm it. I'm going to be honest. I truly hate it. And some people try really hard. Um, it's never been my thing. <laughs> yeah, some people live for it. Like, the they second live. October starts, they can't wait. People live for fall. People live for fucking... I've been enjoying this weather, don't get me wrong. Don't but get like, me wrong. The second it hits 40s, like, I'm going to Miami. Bye. At least for like a weekend. She, I would not survive there. You would burn. burn to a crisp. You'd have to stay under the umbrella. Or People LA. Would look at me like I was insane in Miami. What? Or LA. Oh, I'm going to LA. You Keep are? forgetting. <laughs> I just decided. Do some plugs. Well, <laughs> we haven't booked anything yet. But I'm going to be in LA <laughs> first week in January. Okay. December 30th and oh, days after. And days after. New Year's in LA. Yeah. That's fun. So I'll need somebody to kiss. So Pat's going to come with me. We're going to do some podcasts. We're okay. going to record with like Manuel Ferreira. Oh. And some other people. New Year's too. All right. Okay. Get a bill. I need someone to kiss on New Year's and like tomorrow. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know. No, but I'm the same as you. If hey. I want a boyfriend, I want to sometimes forget that I have a boyfriend. Yeah. Because it's kind of healthy that way. Right. Sometimes you should not know where they are. Yeah, and miss them. And yeah. they should be fulfilled and nourished themselves via things that they do for yeah. themselves. Right. So that you come together and you're both whole people. Yes. And you're not so like, you have to fill up these empty holes oh, that I have. dude, my cup is full. Yeah, my cup run, runneth over, my baby. I'll buy you a sweatshirt. Over, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, this is a really good episode. Is it? Or are you guys like, am I doing okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, Wait, I, okay, so you're going to Skank Fest. Me too. Are you going? Yes. I've never done shrooms. Louis said I should do shrooms. Louis is a wild person. I know. And just do make your own decisions. Absolutely. But I think it'd be a fun place to do shrooms. I've done shrooms before. I think you can like manage it so you can don't have to yeah. do so much. Right. You can just do a little shroom right. and see how you feel. Mm-hmm. I worry about dehydration. These temperatures look crazy. Right. But then I'm like, are we going to be inside this like mall thing? That's what I'm like. Is it more of a convention type of thing? Or is it, um, is it outside? I don't know. Because I need to know what, what, what to wear. Oh, I just, (laughs) I just spent $72 on the website Sheen. Oh, so you bought like 500 shirts. See, look, look at it. what, What are those temps? 95. Oh my gosh, that's really hot. Right now. So I should wear shorts? I mean, yeah. Okay. I, uh, I'm going full casual that weekend. I ordered $72 worth of clothing from the website Sheen, which mm-hmm. is basically like ordering tape. Like you might as well go to Chinatown. Yes. And just buy latex. Yeah. It's, it's l- almost like you get a spray can of latex yeah. and you're like, shh. Yeah, it's literally like it's, they're all one one time wears. Yeah, you peel them off. Yeah, along with the infection. So, what sort of fits did you buy? I bought like the same dress. Uh, I bought 
some like see-through black mesh pants. Oh, that's fun. I thought that would be fun. That's I thought, fun. I thought, I thought that'd be like festive, you know? Yeah. And then just like some, yeah, slutty black dresses. Maybe I Why should buy... Why is your stomach so itchy? Maybe I should buy some cool skank fest clothes. I mean, I think I'm judging the naked roast battle. <gasps> you are? So that'll be fun, yeah. Who's going to be in it? Do we know yet? I don't know yet. I just know one of the, I think Ari's one of the other judges and maybe Jason Ellis. That like Whoa. fighter guy. Jason Ellis has That's a crazy. long penis. What'd you say? His, Jason Ellis. He has a long penis. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you guys used to date? No, he did the naked roast last year. He wrote, he, uh, well, when you're a judge, you also have to be naked. Mm-hmm. And he showed. You're going to be naked? I'm going to be topless. Oh, okay. You're not going to have your pussy out? No. That's a lot to have your pussy out, I think. Yeah, because anything can get up there. Oh, yeah. It's like a hole. I know. Isn't that crazy? We have holes. Like that's some Stranger Things shit. I know. When I watch porn, I'm like, that shit is gaping. <laughs> but um, gaping. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I would have my pussy out. Also, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I could, I like. Look, yeah. No, I'm not gonna have my pussy out. Full naked is a lot. Yeah. Topless for, for your with, like, labia. Cute panties, and I have like just like the tiniest totally. little tits. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Definitely. They'll be like, "Is that a boy? Is that Tony Hinchcliffe?" <laughs> yeah, that's probably exactly what they'll say. <laughs> is that Tony Hinchcliffe in a wig? <laughs> Literally. It's gonna be high of eighty when we're there. We'll be okay. It's not gonna be. That's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be front row looking at you. Let's go. <laughs> or maybe I'll be backstage. I mean, I'm just so excited. And I'll be under your chair sniffing your panties. All the sexy skank fan guys that are going to be oh there. Oh, my God. There's always so many hot guys at skank So fest. many baby sexy uh-huh. boys. Uh-huh. Baby sexy boys. Every time I do a... Sh- every time I do a... Um, <coughs> like a Nine. It's okay. I have COVID, too. Cool. Every time I do a weekend show, you can always tell who's a skank fan. Yeah. Come up to you. They give you something that they blew on their glass blowing job. <laughs> <coughs> That's hilarious. All right, we have to wrap this up just because I'm joking, though. Okay. I had a wonderful time. <laughs> Make sure everybody knows where they can find you, how they can follow you. You got road gigs. You're with Theo Vaughn. Oh, what yo, do you, what pull do you got? through, guys. I am, I am talking to the camera. Please. Mabel, Mabel let her do her plugs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, let her do her plugs. I am... Uh, dude, I'm in Richmond this weekend. Pull okay. through. Richmond, Virginia. Woo-hoo. And then um, in October, I'm... Uh, a skink fest. Hell yeah. And Vegas. I'm out with Burt Kreischer a little bit. So you guys Woo! should come out. And then uh, just check out my Instagram and shit. You guys know where it is. So Maddie Smith. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bitch. Thanks for doing the pod, Maddie. Thanks for having me. I love you guys. Love you too. Bye. Bye. It's only she is.